really feel like life sucks. Uh, not for me. I think life is fine right now. It's just mentally I get very, uh, you know, I get put in a very dark place. <laughs> what, like, there's, like, people getting murdered right now and shit, and that makes you sad? Or, like, what? No, it's it's not like that. It's just my own, my own demons. I guess. I don't know. It's different for everybody. Everyone has their own things that they worry about. So when the sad juice hits them, it's it's like it's like you know, it's, it's time was a hundred. That's true. So for me, it's just like it's very personal. It's not hasn't ha- it doesn't have to do with like anybody. It's just it's just about like myself. And what no, I, I believe in. I'm sure for you, you know, you have your things that you worry about. And so when you get hit with the sad juice, it's like, you know, it's even, it hits even harder. And it's just like, it's it more, it just becomes more of what it is. Yeah. Uh, I try to, like, think rationally about whatever is going on through my head. Or, you know, try to just watch something or read something or just you know try to discover something new just to take my mind off of it yeah i get that i get that i I do that but i feel like i don't know there's nothing there if does that make sense like yeah i can try to like watch a youtube video but like you get bored i don't think yeah you know or i can try to read something or like if i try to read something like not that i get bored i just you just don't feel it you just don't feel anything i don't feel it or i just like I've already read so much already, you know, so it's just kind of like there's nothing to read, you know? So, like, whenever you leave, right, I'm not forcing you to stay up because you can, you know, you got your own thing, right? But whenever you leave, like, dead ass, I'm probably just going to, like, I don't even know, you know? Besides to be sad, that's what I know, you know? <laughs> I feel like I'm just going to lay down and just fucking cry. But, so, uh, but like, I don't sometimes know. Sometimes crying helps. Yeah, but like I don't know, bro. Shit, it just sucks. <laughs> There's uh, <laughs> I don't know if I should tell you this. What? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Is it inappropriate or something? No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, wow. when you get hit with the sad juice, bro, it only gets worse every time. No, yeah, it does. <sighs> Sometimes I, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know what to do most of the time, you know? Try to play games know. or try to do something. Yeah, I can. Like, like the only thing I can think of possibly is downloading Spider-Man and then feeling that. But then, like, that's about it. Like, yeah, like, but then, like, tomorrow I'm going to wake up. I know I'm going to feel like shit when I wake up, you know? I don't know. Clean your room or... There's not much to clean, because it's so small, (laughs) you know? I don't know. It's like... like, You could buy some stickers off, like, some artist or something. I could. Just to have the, like, like something to look forward to, I guess. Yeah. I don't know, man. And they're cheap, too, you know? Most most artists only sell shit for, like, a couple bucks, so... So, I I know you said it's different for you, but, like, have you ever, like... Not necessarily, like, like, die, I guess, but you ever just, like, go to sleep, and then, well, like, like when you hit, get hit with the sad juice, and then you're just like, I hope I don't wake up, and this, you know, I'm not like, I'm like, a, I just hope I sleep long, I guess, right? Yeah, I, I kind of hope for the longer sleep, but not, like, just hoping I don't wake up. For me... Well, sometimes it feels like that, though, it's just like, I just, like, not that I want to die, or go in a coma or nothing, I just feel like, I, you know... Oh, uh, for me, dude, when I get hit with the sad juice, dude, it sucks. I start, <laughs> okay. I, uh, I start making plans, you know? Plans? Yeah. To escape the sadness, or what? No. Mm. It's pretty plans. obvious what I'm talking about. <laughs> you start making plans, really? Yeah. Oh, That's to like. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Like those type of plans? Uh, yeah. 
Really? Yeah, I start planning it out. Like, I start thinking, okay, this is the day I'm going to do it. And I have, a, I start typing out letters in my phone. Really? Yeah. yeah that, that, that is really different, isn't it? I don't feel like that's worse than, than what I said, though. That's about the same for He's like, yeah, I don't go to sleep wishing that I don't wake up. But I do be planning shit out. That's, uh, that's wild. I do. Um, it happens yeah, I every do. time. Every time I'm just like, okay. That's kind of crazy. But I kind of get it at the same time. I don't I don't make letters or plans, but I do like imagine it out in my head, you know? Oh, I think what about happens. it. There's uh, there's sometimes where I start looking online, like it gets kind of bad and I have to kind of stop myself. Well, yeah, I would hope you would stop yourself. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I kind of envision it personally. I'm always just like, what would happen if I do it, you know? Would anybody feel sad? Because that's always like the main thing, right? It's just it's like, would would anybody feel sad? And then you think, well, yeah, they would be, but like, does it really matter? And then you know, it spirals from there. You know? <laughs> it, yeah, it's a big spiral. Uh, for me, I don't really look at it as like, I don't know. It's really weird, you know. It's like I have this like. For me, I guess it just comes from a self, from a feeling of like self-worth i guess and then you know the feeling that i imagine myself is if you know if i did it would be like i would be happy i'd be okay of course you wouldn't feel anything though. yeah and it makes me kind of morbidly curious what would happen i don't know it kind of sucks doesn't i mean maybe no because you're kind of curious but like it's just kind of like you know, like, we go through, like, all this shit, and then next thing you know, we're dead, you know? And we don't even know what happens, besides maybe, like, it's blank and you don't feel anything, because you don't exist anymore, you know? Or maybe something else happens, and you get reincarnated or something. That's weird. <laughs> that'd be kind of like, cool. As long like, as it's yeah, not like that anime, then that'd be fine. What, like, Isekai? I'll be, no, 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 like, no. honestly? <laughs> Have you seen the one with the dog? A dog. This dude like dies or something. Oh or he no, wakes no, up no, as no, a yeah, dog. Yeah, no. yeah, but he was no. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's like his crush, right? He, he, he <laughs> she just be yeah. like going crazy with the dog, bro. Like, what is this? Yeah, that is crazy. I, I saw a bit of it. I won't lie, but I was just like, I was so confused. I was just like, this is like typical, just weirdo shit yeah. from Japan. I'm not surprised. Reincarnation would be kind of cool though. Like knowing that I just have like another go at it you know like, even if i don't remember anything like it's fine you know i mean that I that would be shot. cool and afterlife thing is like kind of cool but i feel like this is too unrealistic you know i don't think i want to be reincarnated though but the thing is you it's not like if i was reincarnated to get another like the thing is you're not gonna remember anything but knowing that i have like i can die and i'll be like you know what like there's a part two to this. I don't think it would be too bad. If I went to like an afterlife though, I think I will just like, I, I think it would suck. Cause like, what are you gonna do? Stay in the fucking heaven until like, you can't die in heaven. You know what I'm saying? The best thing I'm hoping for is everything just goes black and I just don't think of anything. But yeah, but like, how the fuck does that feel? Oh. Like, you know, you won't feel nothing dog. That reminds me. Oh, you know, hold on. Recently, I, I just... Walk into. Depression. Depression. All right. Uh, you know what? I, you know, <laughs> one thing that has been kind of on my mind is, uh, like, recently I went to, like, the bookstore, right? I went to a local bookstore, and uh, I went to, like, the graphic novel section, because that's where they have, like, you know, manga and, like, uh, you yeah. know, just, just, you know, American comics, like, uh, overseas comics, like, from France or Italy. And one thing I kind of noticed, like, this is kind of like, I have, it's not a theory I've been thinking on too hard. It's just something I've kind of wondered about. It's just like, honestly, I think you could read any manga or watch any anime as a comedy. I guess you could, yeah. 
But, but then it's like, I guess you could kind of do that with, I don't know, it feels weird, because, you know, I want to say, like, you can do that with other things, too, but it doesn't, doesn't really feel like that. I don't know, maybe, the, maybe just because there's a bunch of them, you know? So, <laughs> I don't know. Like, there was one, there's, like, one thing I saw today on YouTube, it was, like, some boy likes eating some girl's drool, and I was like, how is that even romantic? Oh, like, is that not that, a comedy? Oh, that is good, though. It's a good one. Mysterious Girlfriend X. It, it's pretty good. Yeah. It's weird, but it is good, though. I saw that, and I was like, dude, this is like... This is like... It felt like it was kind of proving my point, you know what I mean? Like, you could read this as a comedy. You could, but I don't know. Because, like, it's it's still time. fucking weird. It's like, like... Like, even if you take out the drool shit, like, it's still, like... You could, you could honestly read that or watch it as a comedy. I guess. I don't know how this was, like... How we got to what we were talking about. We went from, like... Sad juice to like, oh, okay, the, to like depression and how to deal with it to like, oh, yeah, so like comedy though. Like, you can read manga as comedy. That's crazy. You can though. I feel like, I like, again, I don't have like a ton of like, I don't have a ton of like research put into this or anything. It's just something I've kind of like thought of. I was like, I'm pretty sure you can do that with like pretty much anything because a lot of like anime and like manga like has the same story structure. And I'm pretty sure, yeah. like, just the general weird nature of, like, those how those things are written, I'm pretty sure you could just really look at it as a comedy. I, I guess. I, I, I don't know. So I, like, a lot of romance, I, you could probably watch it as a comedy. No, because that's not fair, though, because most romance has, is romantic comedy. Like, that is always, true. Oh, it's, it's always romance, uh, romantic comedy, slice of life, for the most part. I guess like the really fucked up, gory shit you probably couldn't watch as a comedy, but I feel like a, a good a good majority of shit you could probably Goblin do. Goblin Slayer. You saw a Goblin Slayer? No. Okay, I, I was like, what the it. fuck? He's just talking about he's talking about that because of that scene. Yeah, I read raped. it in the first episode. Yeah, some chick gets like raped, and it's like pretty brutal. It's not. I watched it. It's super censored. I don't know. If you want to see kind of something kind of fucked up, it's the redo of the healer. I told Aristotle to watch it. It's pretty fucked up. You know, uh, it that is something I guess that kind of proves that kind of like leans into my point because I watched that as a comedy. I thought that was really funny. I'm it, not even gonna lie. It, like, no, you could laugh at it, sure, I guess, but like, you, I don't know. It, it's still really weird. For me. For me, I don't understand a lot of people thought of it as like it's disgusting and gross, but I thought of it as like a redemption type of story. Well, that's kind of the whole point, right? It is redemption, but it's also fucked up, Aristotle. I know, like I know, like he has like his own like sick ways of like, but in a way, he's low key helping these people. Sometimes, some of them would just straight oh, yeah, up die. But that, that's kind of that's kind of the whole point of the thing, right? You're like kind of rooting for him, but then you're not, you know. Cause it's like, well, I like. I mean, I think he's because he's such an anti-hero. Is that why? That's I just, I just really like anti-heroes. Like he's, yeah, he, but I yeah, mean, he's just not, like he does some crazy ass shit. But it's, it's kind of cool at the same time because he yeah, also, he like, also tries to help people at the same time too. Yeah, but it's not like he's like. It would be different if he was like torturing them. Like, like know, is he like, going like, killing them? He's going, <laughs> he's going way above the line, bro. He's going like. Well, I mean, he like is, to be fair, when you see what happened to people. him, yeah, it's, but like, it's not, yeah, but you know, it's fucked up. Yeah, and he should get his clap back. But bro, like this dude, brained. Like, let's talk about the first girl, okay? Right? But she's he, the one who he, fucked he him up the room. most. She's the one who put him I, into I, that life. I, I know, but it's still fucked up though. He could have like tortured her for sure, and then killed her, sure, or like even kept her as a slave, sure. But like he went above and beyond Aristotle. The brainwashing into... was actually a redemption for her. There's no redemption for her because that's not her anymore, dog. That's, that's the her. redemption. That's not her though. That's no redemption there. There's, it's not her. Philip, since mm. you're here, Philip. So, would you think of this as a comedy or or a fucking uh I guess whatever the fuck it is? It's an easy guy, but I don't know how. Uh, well, what else to call it? So it's this very guy, dark. right? He ha he has an abuser, right? Crazy abuser. Um, like like think of all the fucked up shit you can think of. This yeah. him probably right. Um, he ends up dying, and he gets re oh does he die or does he go back in time? 
No, he gets back in time. Back. It's the in the yeah, first yeah. timeline, they finally defeated the like demon king, you know, whatever. That yeah, had oh, a stone, yeah, and, and he used it. that yeah, stone yeah, to yeah, reset yeah, yeah, the yeah, timeline. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, so he resets it, right? So, um, he he still remembers everything, and what they do, and shit like that. So he wants to get his revenge, right? So the first girl again is like his main abuser and shit, right? That he goes inside her house, right? Like, race her, basically, right? Yeah. And then and then completely, um, and and that scene was long as hell. That was, that was like the whole episode, dog. Anyway, it was right? like two. Yeah, it was episode and a half. It was like crazy. Anyway, right? Of of, of complete like mentally like destroying her and then doing that and whatever, like like right? com- and then he completely humiliated her, raped her, and then finally yeah, yeah, yeah. brainwashes her to be he his brainwashes like brainwashes her into yeah. like his lover, and then yeah. like and she's basically not herself anymore, and it's just like. You know, it's one thing to do that, but then you add, like, the little, like, extra bits. I don't know, Aristotle. It's just, like... That doesn't sound like a comedy or a redemption story. That sounds like somebody's fucked up, like, fantasy. It but is. Philip, Philip doesn't... Are we really going to ask Philip on this? You just fucking yeah. did. Philip did. Philip's not yeah. really into media like that, though. Yeah, that's true. He, he only really likes, I guess, Shonen. I watched that. Nope. Yeah, but that's also a Shonen. Or maybe, maybe, what's the other one? It's not Shonen, it's fucking... The one for, like, adults. Sinan? Yeah. It's probably with that, but... To me, I mean, like... uh, I mean, we should probably add more context. So, in the... There was the first timeline, right? Where he got... She became his, like... She abused the shit out of him. She would, like... Uh, like... She kept him in, like, a cell. Where people would just go and, like, rape him. She would go in there and rape him. She would beat the shit out of him. She got him like addicted to like uh, the substance. Drugs, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she got him like that, yeah. she made him a she made him a hardcore drug addict, Dr- dude. She made him a crackhead, right? And then eventually she's like the thing is like she's part of the, you know, stereotypical hero trope that, you know, we're gonna go and defeat the demon king. So she brings him along because he's actually useful. His one of his talents is that like his like I don't know, juices or whatever makes people stronger so that's why he got raped all those times so then she takes him you know on this adventure with two other people who also engage in raping him all the time then they eventually defeat the demon king demon queen whatever he uses that opportunity to uh take the soul or stone or whatever from the demon king uh reset the timeline to go back to when he first started you know, to go meet the queen, because that was the queen. The queen would like abuse the shit out of him. And uh, but this time he's gonna go through everything, but he's gonna do it his way. Yeah, but you make it sound like a redemption story. This dude went above that, and that's beyond, what happened. though. That's no, what happened. Yeah, this, he's the like. Think about the other two abusers. He basically just killed them. Good. But he went. But like, yeah, which is fine. There but, was like, the there was no girl, redeeming them. There's no. There's no redeeming the first girl, and he went like he went fucking. I don't know. There's a thing. What, what's the saying? It's just like um, it's not a saying, but you know how like uh, people say get, like you don't do the same thing that the other person does because you because you would be exactly like them. You know what I'm saying? He's he's exactly like her. I know, but I, I like it how he's just breaking. I mean, no, I mean kinda, but he not is, at the exactly same time because like he, he didn't make exactly her a drug like addict or anything. He didn't go as hardcore as. She did. Dr- a drug addict is one thing. Completely changing her personality and mind and using her, uh, like, to basically be, uh, uh I guess, uh, in a sense, a sex slave. Cause, but cause he, really but he does start old. to care for them, though. Everyone that he's, like, made his, like, harem, he does care for them. Eventually. Yeah, but, so like, I'm like... Uh, weird. He's a weirdo, uh, though. <laughs> I mean... He was made into a weirdo. She, they created the monster. I don't know what you, what you, you're on. It's not like he was like that at the beginning. He didn't That's have any fair. of those fantasies. He didn't have any of those like, fantasies. They created a monster, and the monster was yeah, the so, fucking so came and ex- clapped so them he's back. Exactly, so he's exactly like him. He's just exactly like them, bro. In a way, I mean, he's doing it yeah, his could, way because he still has a sense of morality. I. Yes. The only people, the people he killed were actually worthy of fucking dying. Everyone else he didn't. 
Like the little, the little like wolf them, girl, or whatever. He could have killed her. He could have just fucking left her there. But he has like some sense of morality and simp and like empathy. He was like, oh, this person also wants revenge, like I do. I will help you, but also we're gonna smash. Yeah. <laughs> but you, but you, but you act like you act like he's like a good dude, though. He's, he's not, not a good person at all. But, no, he's he's always like trying to catch him. He's always trying to get in he's someone's pants. <laughs> like like no, he's not a good person at all. But but you're like it's a redemption story. Though. This is not redemption. It's not always a fucking it's, weirdo. It's, it's, you it's can't a bit be a of a redemption. And be like redemption. There's some redemption yeah, to the characters that he's like messing up, dude. Because he some of them he doesn't kill. Some of them he makes them into like a new person, which in a way is redeeming them. No, it's not, because you're not the you're not the person. You're just like a shell. Like if you get Philip right, and you put Dwayne the Rock Johnson's like personality. That's in not Phillip. redemption, because Philip was not like a Hitler. <laughs> Those people were like really terrible people, and he made but them yeah, into something can, like new. It'll be, and, it'll like, be different if it was the same personality. Like I think I personally, right? Personally, if I was him, right? I'm not changing up her personality whatsoever, right? And I'll just like. Like, like, basically, not do the same thing, because that's fucked up. Rape is not cool, guys. Don't rape. Anyway. But it's just like, you're not really getting revenge at that point if she doesn't remember anything that you've done, that she's done, you know? Well, you, not like he, anything, you, he didn't you rape her when her. she had a new personality. No, but like, she after she after the After the that. brainwash, everything was consensual, dude. Is it really, though? Yes. No. It's, it's a brainwash, Aristotle. They're a new person. Yeah, but it's still like n not their. He made the person. That's weird. <laughs> I don't know. He's not. He's he's a, he's a piece of shit. It, it's not a yes. redemption story. It's he, not a he's a, he's an antihero. He's, he's, he's not even an antihero. He's just yes, a piece he is. of shit. He's just a piece of shit. He it's a weird the story. Sounds like they suck. Huh? Yeah, they do suck. They're horrible. That's the whole the point. Is... The whole point is like everyone that he meets was like a, f a complete fucking like terrible human being, and he wants they his were. revenge, including him too. But he's a piece of shit. Yeah. But exactly. he but he wasn't like that at the beginning. He was like yeah. you know super innocent, and that that's okay, what happened. Our babies. He, they created the monster. Man, shut the hell up. <laughs> it's true. Which is why we have to kill all babies. Uh. All right, so Aristotle, what you're saying is, I can get Hitler, right? Change his person. Hey, are you gonna kill me? Ba Listen, do you kill baby Hitler? <laughs> we've got we've got a full circle here. Are you gonna kill baby Hitler? Killing baby Hitler and not killing bit and like completely raping and having a tragic fucking thing is different. Cause you act like I'm doing something crazy with Hitler and then hey, brainwash are you going him. to I'm just killing him. brainwash and rape Hitler? <laughs> Or just, or just kill him. You know? <laughs> I, 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 mean, I have no qualms killing a baby. I don't even care if it's just a random ass baby. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. I like the character. I like how he just kind of gets whatever he wants. It's kind of, no, it's, it's refreshing to me. It's, it's, I think that's why I like it so much. It's because it's kind of refreshing to see a dude just do that. It's a it's a good story. I watched it, but don't act like, like you fucking just like seeing this bitch get raped and you're like, the Joker laughing. Oh, dude, I was like blank faced like the whole time. I was like, oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, you're not you're not Joker laughing though. You're not like, ha, 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 you know. You're not, like, I was laughing at some of the kind of some of the things because it was it was just kind of funny, like just just kind of how absurd it was. It's just like it it is crazy. Because they just start like, what is I've it? Watched. There was like that that person who's up next to be like a fucking the demon queen or whatever and he's just like all right well it's cool meeting you i'm gonna like <laughs> have sex with like my, my two partners here my like right in yeah. front of you <laughs> like that was funny it's, it was That's even funny that like funny. the dialogue the dialogue was like what's wrong with you <laughs> do you like weird pervert ass motherfucker <laughs> I, I mean that was pretty funny I guess. He still. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of. I would. I think, Eventually, he started caring for them. Out. He started caring for the things that he created. That, that's crazy. That's weird, though. He's still a weirdo. It took. Uh, it's just. Also, he, I don't know how they're not the pregnant. Like. He's uh, been going. I mean, he's they, a healer, isn't he? So like, he can do whatever the fuck he wants. <laughs> he got. He, by, <laughs> he got Plan B in that shit. <laughs> Anytime he, he wants. Does. 
<laughs> Probably, I mean, he is a healer. I don't know. That shit's weird. It's a good show, though. I would suggest to Philip. It's, I don't know. Uh, Philip would. Philip. Philip's a pussy, dude. He would not like that. No. I don't know. Can you imagine him watching? Imagine watching that on a big screen. Like, <laughs> like real. <laughs> his wife. It just doesn't past. sound like something I'd want to watch. Is all. No. No. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like you. Would and there's that, and then Philip. Even if Philip would want to watch it, he's not gonna watch it. Be honest, it's for the big boys. It's not. It's really, it really just like, I feel like that's gonna create like, school shooters. No cat. Like a school shooter's gonna see that and they're gonna be like, word, you know? Like I gotta get. School shooters haven't seen worse. Uh, I mean, what 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 do school shooters? I guess the other school shooters. I guess. (laughs) They study film. (laughs) They 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 watch they watch the greats. (laughs) <laughs> they watch the greats, uh, but that shit's, I don't know. I thought it was cool. I, I, that was probably like the only like anime I've watched that I was like, oh, that's sick. Yeah, I mean, it's good, but it's weird though. Can't I mean, like, I like oh, it. Yeah, the thing like, I like uh-huh. it is because Isekais were so, f- like, a lot. The thing that happens a lot in the genre of, like, anime and manga is it becomes so fucking tropey. And it's almost a parody of itself. When you get when you see a new one that starts to, like, pretty much just be the other ones, you know? So it's really fun to see that, like, it's not the same fucking Isekai where a dude's like, oh, look at my harem. Oh, look, look at this. I'm just, like, the most Chad motherfucker on the planet for no reason, yeah, really. You know how I feel about that though. Is it this is other one? Which I guess you should. I would say give it a try, but you probably won't like it. Not as much as you like redo, because redo you're just like on oh, its nuts. It's, <laughs> it's good. I like it because it's so different. Because it's not. It's not trying to go with the same tropes or anything. It's going against it. I like that. Yeah, there's this one called Jobless Reincarnate, right? I, I've been hyping it up so hard, and it's it's basically just like if Isekai was realistic, and in heart Isekai isn't realistic, right? It's always just like, wow, I spawned in. Oh shit, I'm really fucking powerful <laughs> just because I died, you know? Yeah. And then it's just like, oh, now I'm gonna do all this. Wow, I'm super strong, I do what I want. Type shit, right? Um, but Redo the Heal is cool because he, he's like, he dies and um, he like, he like, rem- he, he remembers when he was a, like, when he was a baby, he spawns and he like, I guess he doesn't spawn, he's an actual baby. But he like, he like wakes up and he's, has all the memories so like what do you do you're like okay shit i got a plan now you know right so he starts planning just to live like i guess a normal life or or like there was magic so he's really interested in magic because you know magic doesn't exist here right and then it slowly becomes this thing where he like he wonders if he's even like he, he feels like he's just playing the character and he's not really himself right and then like there's like this god i don't know it's good you should give it a shot it's hard to explain but it is really basically just if isekai was just more realistic like his dad like is it was like a debbie or he, like he used to be a hero and now he's like a debbie and he like cheated on his mom and now he has two sisters from uh like with like with like his maid or some shit like that so he has two fucking i guess one's a full sister and a half sister right and then like he gets shipped away i don't know it's good and then there's like this big thing right where everyone just gets teleported and they haven't really explained it yet not in the anime at least right where there's like a mass teleportation and then now he's like this like 12 year old kid in the middle of the desert and then there's like this guy and his name is Rajid but he doesn't know that yet right and there's like prejudice around him so he's scared that that guy's gonna kill him I don't know it's good I'm not really <laughs> selling it but it's good uh give me a sec to get my laundry a laundry again fuck you Philip. what are you doing Philip? playing the wreck let's do playing the shrek Philip, what do you do when you get hit with the sad juice Thug it out. Damn, that's what Arsene said too. But he's like, it's kind of fucked up, but you really do have to thug it out. And I said, how do you thug it out? And that was kind of how the conversation started, if you were wondering. I planned something to do. I guess. Because I got hit with the sad juice earlier. I'm still pretty sad, but I wanted to ask Arsene about it. Sad use. You getting your ass beat? No. 
everybody I play with is absolute shit at defense and leaves the paint open. So I could just send shit back. Mm, big him. Big him, Philip. Big him. Big him. Funny in delivery. Where do you keep coming from? It's a bunch of Funyuns. Funyuns, Spongebobs. It's cool. Motherfuckers need to stop giving it to me on the perimeter, dude. They think I'm some type of, like, guard. Aren't you a sniper? Dude, my jumps with the shots have been fucking weird today. Me and Aristotle played earlier. I was breaking. I was sending shit back all day, though. I guess. Aristotle was, like, talking so much shit about you for real. He was like, Phil was the worst motherfucking bitch ever. This dude's the heat actually didn't do that. I was gonna say, he didn't realize I had a new build. No, he, he, he brought up the build. All he said is just like y'all teammates were shit and wouldn't pass the ball. Oh, but yeah, we had one teammate who was role playing as Magic Johnson. Shit was funny. But he wouldn't pass the ball? No, he passed. But he, he just kind of sucked, is all. Mm. Well, he was Magic Johnson. And all didn't tell me about Magic Johnson. Yeah, everybody else, though, was fucking dog shit. But one dude who, like, we out-rebounded the fuck out of the other team, we blocked the shit. I boxed up this guy, he had a 99 ball control and a 99 fucking three. And, uh, I fucking, I, I had him at zero points until our teammate started, like, fucking trying to, like, switch onto him and shit. And so I went to guard our other teammate, and as soon as I switch over, he fucking crosses the guy over and scores a three. And I'm like, dude, fuck off, you can't guard this guy. Mm. But he can, though, for real. He no, can. he fucking... He can. That dude scored nine points that game. No, because it was two. Yeah. So he scored six points that game. Off of... This guy trying to do stupid switches. And when I refused the switch, he would fucking leave his guy open and his guy would score. That's tough. It's like in Roblox where people just ball hunt. Yeah, Roblox 2 gay is like ass, though. It's too ass. You just fucking pass it inside. What was I saying? I don't know, but Philip said he had a teammate. His name was Irving Johnson. We did have Magic Johnson today. We sadly lost with him, but... That dude threw full quarter fucking bounce passes to me. It was funny. <laughs> I was laughing my ass off, because he had, he had like, had Magic no pass that game. No, yeah, he wouldn't take anything, though. That was the hardest part. <laughs> just like he, Magic, for real. He wasn't taking any shots. He was just passing to us. Just like magic. Come on, man. I still one of the last I, shots, too. It's tough. I was playing, it was the, uh, this, my no offense utility build, so that shit was not fun. He was diamond, though. He had really good vision, I'll say that. More than most. I, I did score quite a bit that game because he kept, he had like this, like, one pass that went, it was a bounce pass between two defenders to me to the paint after he got, like, uh, checked up in the paint. Got checked up in the paint. He had two people double him in the paint and he hit like this Jokic type behind the back pass to Philip. It was gross. And then fucking, they were on the opposite side of the ring. So I just dunked on him. Good dog. saying? Oh yeah. Uh, I like, I like a lot of things that just kind of go against the grain, you know what I mean? It's what's cool to me. I don't, I don't like when something like sticks to the tropes too much unless it has like you a lot of charm to it uh, you should you should give it a job with being caught and a try though no cap just cause it's more realistic and if you don't like it like uh, it makes sense but you know you should give it a shot I think this is kinda long though <laughs> that's the only issue 
there is a, what do you call it? I don't know, man. I think it just, I don't know. I don't know you guys, but I love shit that just doesn't, like, that goes against everything, you know what I mean? Mm, but you don't like, you don't like, uh, um, 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 Satanist. Penis Satanist. No, that's I was, true. I was gonna I'm, say, I was gonna say something else, but I was just like, that's not even true either. Anyway, guess not. I that's guess other not. Thing. I guess not. Do I want to play with Philip Aristotle? Answer the question. No, not really. It's kind of boring. I, I don't want to play with Philip. Yeah, you're right. I, I, you're right. I was tearing my hair out today. Not for Philip. me. Out of our fucking teammates. <laughs> Yeah, but who got him Fucking in that situation? Three for 16? That was crazy. Who got him in that situation, though? We went against some Mexicans and they were talking shit to our teammate. Oh, yeah, funny. it's fucking. Bunch of dudes sound like Bad Bunny. <laughs> we went against like three Puerto Ricans. I got like super mad. We also had like one super tough loss because we had like one teammate, 94 overall, looked like he never played the game, dog. I don't know what that dude was doing. <laughs> It'd be like that. Phil was legit, legit like clamping one dude, and our teammate was just throwing the ball away every possession. So yeah. we didn't even get to we didn't even get to play offense half the time. That dude with the fucking ninety plus ball control, ninety plus three point rating, and all he wanted to do was try to fucking. Yeah, he was cross getting stripped over. too. He was getting the ball stolen away from him all the time. And then he got his fucking shooting badge and still got clamped up because he kept stealing it from our teammate. Shit is disgusting. Um, disgusting. What are they saying? I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's cool. That's why I like. That's why I really like Redo here. Cause so much Izakai is just like garbage. It's so garbage. So much of it is just the same. Like, I mean, it's cool, right? It's like, oh, what if I did that, right? What if I died and woke up with like all these cool powers and shit? But then it just devolves into like this loser fucking fantasy. It's disgusting. I mean, don't you think Rudy, Rudy of the Hero, is also uh? A fucking loser fantasy. Yeah, I mean, I can see that too. Just know. like, what if I did? You know, it's just like it's kind of like that. Uh, what's it called? It, it takes both ways. You have like that. How do I say this? You know, it just appeals to that male fantasy. <laughs> no, they all do. Do you know what sucks though? Hold up. This is, this has nothing to do with what you're saying, but it kind of does. Is like, have you ever watched? I guess. An anime that's like for, for like girls, uh, maybe. Uh, I think I have, maybe like you one episode. Have. I don't remember what it was. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I watched so every one time. It's just like the only thing is like I don't like about those. I guess people who believe in that, right? Where it's just like things only do for them, like male fantasy. When you look at the girl fantasy one, like they do the same tropes, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's the yeah. Same yeah, 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 yeah. It's the oh, same trope. I, I can speak about this in terms of, like, like art. Like, when I see a lot of girl artists, you know, like, what's it called? Okay, so you know, like, a lot of men will draw, like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Bob's, draw a lot of men, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, Bob's, yeah. but the women, it's the same thing, except they'd be, like, putting dudes and dudes, which is very interesting, because for the men, it's always, like, a woman and a man. And then for the girls, it's dude on dude. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I think it's. I, I was thinking more like personality wise, cause it's always, it's. I feel like, it's always like the shy one, you know. It's the shy one it's in always, both. It's always and both. Like, and you yeah. know what? You know what's funny? You could swap them out, and they're the exact same fucking thing, dude. They're the yeah. exact same person in both. They always got like that long little strip of hair going over across one eye, or you know they get easily flustered, and then people are just like. <laughs> All the time. It's, it's just crazy. It's just like, y'all y'all have the same fantasies, dog. What are you talking about? The only difference is, I guess guys sexualize a lot more, right? Like, the male fantasies way more sexualized. But then, like, you look at, like, I guess, like, Twilight, yeah. But, like, other things. Or it's just like, they're just, like, handsome as fuck. You know? That's it. Uh, what's it called? What's that one thing? <laughs> well, even with Twilight, if you take that and reverse the situations... Tell me that's not your fantasy to have a bunch of fucking goth chicks fantasizing over you and wanting to 
initiate you and shit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you're you're right, but like, it's. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> it's just weird. It, I just feel like it's very like. I feel like, it, who okay? Who wants to watch something that's not intriguing to your mind though? You know, like who watches like something that's fake? And then expect like something like I wouldn't want to see. Does that make sense? Like why the fuck? Why the fuck would I watch something? And then not ex like. And it's like like why would I watch it like, a show with a bunch of dicks in it, you know? It, I would. Depends what it is though. But, like, I guess you could call that JoJo, <laughs> or Baki. <laughs> Yeah, but it's total sausage though. fest, dude. <laughs> JoJo is just like twinks, but like Baki's just like big ass dudes. <laughs> yeah, but it's more just like yeah, I'm gonna beat like it's, it's like fighting and shit. But it's just like why would I watch? Like I've I've watched like uh like anime that's like with the the like woman in mind, right? And they're fine, they're cool. But like, why would I watch like? They also get really cheesy. Like it's always, it's always like this. There's always like the guy sometimes, right? And the motherfucker right. cannot do no wrong. He has the corniest of lines. Like, I'm like I've seen so many like. I He's guess, just the ultimate Chad, and they fall for him every time. And it's yeah, but like that's like the trope for like girl romance animes or like manga. Just it's like I will just, like, cherish you with everything I have. You know, <laughs> I will never leave. Yeah, basically. Basically, and like, oh, check out my chiseled oh, abs. <laughs> and they're all tall, handsome, fucking. They're all like they're somehow, six somehow, four, built ass motherfuckers, bro. <laughs> somehow, 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 never, somehow, never has been with the woman ever, but knows exactly how everything to do. No cap, he knows every twist, <laughs> twist and turn, and shit like that. That's just how it is, dog. It's fucking crazy. Like, okay, this is one. I, 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 I did both. I watched and read, right? Because it is pretty good. It's called, uh, fucking, uh, Loving Yamada, right? Needs to be a John, love, love. John show. John's reviews. I, know. <laughs> I would love to do that. Because, okay, it's called, like, Leveling Up with, like, Yamada or something. Level 999 with Lama. And he's, like, he's a gamer guy. That's it. He's a pro gamer guy, right? Right. But he's tall as shit. He's very, very stoic. He doesn't say much. Uh, he keeps to himself, right? He meets this girl. She's very, like, Taylor Swifty. The best way to s explain it, right? And, um, you know, she, like, slowly makes him, like, open up and shit. Alright? And, right. um, they get together. And Yamada is very, like, a beautiful man. That's, like, the whole thing. He's very beautiful, right? And he gets all this attention from girls, but he only wants her attention. Mmm. He's never had a girlfriend. Because he's never been interested, but he's only interested in her. Mm, it's like, oh, and then they had, they had like a, I'm pretty sure they'd done it, right? But, it, and he's like a master at it, just a pro. It's the gamer moves, I guess. It's the gamer <laughs> moves. He's just, he's just a master. And he's like, he's like, he's, oh, the, the worst of, thing is, the worst thing is, quick. he's still in high school, too. Go ahead. Um, my dad said that Aristotle had a good spread. Huh? When we went shooting. <laughs> oh, okay. It's like I don't remember That's giving him my videos. That shit. <laughs> That's it. I was like, what? What are you sending? <laughs> what are you sending? I didn't. Want to... I was thinking either money spread or that type of spread. I was like, damn. Sire's thought of the money spread. Oh. That's crazy. He did. What did he say? Is that all he said? He's just like, "That's very good." Good job. He's like, that's a good spread, and I was like, why the fuck would you say it like that? <laughs> Be a beautiful spread. Mm. <laughs> wow, that's a nice wide spread. It's a nice spread. No, you had a tight spread. It's <laughs> a very nice tight spread Man, with the hole in worse. between. <laughs> that's even worse. That's pretty funny. That shit grippy. <laughs> no. I would love Look to like you grip it just though. right too. <laughs> wow, he's really got That's his hand fun. on that thing. <laughs> he's got a nice Long firm grip black. on it. You know, he, you know, he's really he's a natural pro at holding black things, longer black things for real. <laughs> That's crazy. I just remember uh, though I had, a, I had to mention it before I forgot again. 
I got a okay. triple double. Well, well thanks. I do wanna... Appreciate it. I I should make an Instagram account, guys. And do what Aristotle said. And then to... and just review anime and like I mean, it's because right. I like I like a bunch of anime and I feel like a bunch of people are just gonna shit on me, but I think it'll be funny. <laughs> because oh my god, have you ever okay? You need to, okay, Aristotle. If you want to laugh, if you want to laugh, Ari, go to like an illegal like fucking streaming site, right? Go to like any romance anime and look at the comments, bro. It is the worst things that you'll ever see in your life. It it will melt your eyes. What a bunch how, of like, Indians cringe. getting horny or something? No, they're not. In, no, they're like Americans, dog. And like, they're like. It's either really cringe, right? Or they're like, ooh, head pats. She deserves head pats. She's such a good girl, right? That shit, right? Oh! <laughs> or or they're just very, incels. It's fucking military anime. Or they're just incels. Is there a military anime? Yeah. There is. I see it as a category. What the fuck is reverse? Yeah, Haram. there's a bunch. Oh, uh, that's when... It's the... It's what you think it is. Instead of a guy in the middle, it's a girl, and she has a bunch of fucking dudes around him. Keep in mind, military anime animals. is not going to be any of the cutesy romance. shit. It's okay. going to be like Gundam and shit. No, no, no. Sometimes you can. Alright. Uh, I, I, I've seen military girl romance animes, so chill out there. Oh, no, no, wait, okay. That is true, because I know there's there's one called, like, Girl Panzer or something like that. Alright, Girlfriend, Girlfriend. Girlfriend. Girlfriend, girlfriend is trash, but I like it. But it's trash. It's about um, the comments? this guy, right? And he is—he has a—he has like a childhood best friend, and they uh, officially start dating, right? You were right. Right? Yeah. A girl just they officially... another girl, mommy. That's my line. That's crazy. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. So, but yeah, girlfriend, girlfriend. The guy—the guy has a childhood best friend, right? And then this girl out of nowhere. It's just like, yo, I like you too. But he has such good of a heart where he doesn't want to turn her down. So now he has two girlfriends, right? And then there is um, a third one who really wants to get with him. And she has blonde hair. And he's like, I can't get with you because I already have two girlfriends. And then, But she keeps on trying. And she doesn't really take no for an answer. And then there's the white-haired one who is the best friend of the childhood best friend. And she also has a crush on him. But she's really secretive about it. I was looking for the one that had girls that looked like way underage, because I'm sure that's where the, you would get that shit from. 